to Moments with Friendship Church, Killam, Alabama. We hope that these few moments in God's Word will encourage you in your walk with the Lord. And if you are not a believer in Christ Jesus, may you hear the call of God. And as he says to us in Isaiah 55, 6, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let us pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this explanation by the Apostle Paul in Ephesians, how that we were sinners following the ways of the world that is controlled by Satan and our own selfish desires. And how because you are merciful and kind and loved us and you saved us and raised us from death to life with Christ Jesus. In his name above all names. Amen. The title of our lesson today is From Death to Life. <clears throat> Reading from Ephesians 2, 1 through 12. We are, um, in the past you were dead because you sinned and fought against God. You followed the ways of this world and obeyed the devil. He rules the world and his spirit has power over everyone who does not obey God. Once we were also ruled by the selfish desires of our bodies and our minds. We had made God angry, and we were going to be punished like everyone else. But God was merciful. We were dead because of our sins, but God loved us so much that he made us alive with Christ. And God's wonderful kindness is what saves you. God raised us from death to life with Christ, with Christ Jesus, and he has given us a place beside Christ in heaven. God did this so that in the future world, he could show how truly good and kind he is to us because of what Christ Jesus has done. You were saved by faith in God, who treats us much better than we deserve. This is God's gift to you and not anything you have done on your own. It isn't something you have earned, so there is nothing you can brag about. God planned for us to do good things and to live as he has always wanted us to live. That's why he sent Christ to make us what we are now. Let us pray. Our dear Father in heaven, thank you for showing us that it is not by anything we do that brings us into right relationship with you. It is because Jesus the Christ suffered and died and was resurrected from the dead and is seated beside you on your throne in heaven, that we too will be there at his side. O oh, glorious day, in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> 